Hello, today we are going to do a Milky Way cup. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to glitter our base. We're going to use the epoxy method. Um, and I've got three shades of blue right here. Um, you can choose whatever colors you want and you can do more or less, uh, though three is kind of a good amount to do. Uh, when we put this on, we're going to do it, uh, we're going to put the glitter on kind of in a little bit of a, an arc, kind of like a candy cane. Just a reminder that the epoxy should be difficult to apply. If you end up putting too much on, you can just take a paper towel and just wipe some of it off. Use a baby wipe to wipe off your fingers. All right, so I like to go with uh, the rotation. So mine is spinning right now in a counterclockwise way. So I'm gonna put the glitter on in a uh, clockwise direction. Now, as you can see, if I miss a, if I miss starting, that's okay. You can start in the middle and get it on the next round. Don't worry too much about creating a pattern. Go with what looks good in that rotation. All right, we're gonna let this dry and then we will milk, um, put a layer of epoxy on and then we will put a layer with the Milky Way on. All right, it's had a few hours to dry. So now I'm going to clear coat it just to help prevent any of the glitter from moving. I will let that dry for a few hours and then it will be good for epoxy. Okay, so this is the in-between coat before we put the Milky Way on the cup. I've done 10 mils of each epoxy. Now I'm just going to apply it. I like to start at the top, then do the bottom, and then do the in-between part. Just because the top and bottom can be a little harder to do, it's nice to have more epoxy to do it with. Now because I'm doing a Milky Way, I'm not too concerned about if the colors mix. or how pretty the swirl was for that matter. All right, you're gonna let this dry for four to six hours. Uh, check out our curing video to uh, determine exactly how long. 
and then you can let it dry for the remainder of the time in a drying rack. So the cup is uh, dried overnight, so it's nice and dry. Um, now I use cheap craft glitter on this cup, so I am not going to sand this layer or it will turn to silver where it's uh, where the glitter is exposed. So I'm gonna start by putting a thin layer of epoxy on here. And then I'm going to mix the rest of the epoxy that I mix up into three little containers. You can do one, you can do two, three, whatever you want. Um, and each of those will have a different colorant. So you can use alcohol ink, you can use acrylic paint, you can use mica powder, whatever you would like to use. I'm gonna use one of each just so you can see that it does work. If you do use acrylic paint, you will wanna be really careful with how much you use. Uh, because if you use too much, it is a water-based product and uh, epoxy is not, so it will go stringy on you. So just like pea-sized amount kind of thing, really small. So for this cup, I'm going to mix seven mils of each, um, like a, a normal amount. I'll put a thin amount on here and then I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit because we don't wanna put too thick on, um, on our Milky Way part. Just using a little bit of epoxy. Just a tiny little bit. And there's just like a little drop in that of the acrylic paint. Now just let this and just do a line. If you get a line that's too thick, you can hold down nice and tight, pull that epoxy off. Uh, let it spin for four to six hours and then we'll let it dry on our drying rack.